This is our patient, Larry, and this is appointment number two. The CEREC integration allows us to actually go from appointment one directly into the surgery on appointment two. This plan was exported into the implant program, and we were actually able to generate this surgical guide without any impressions, without any models. At this point, we're just verifying the fit. And the beauty of this system is the snap fit that I've been able to get each and every time. You can observe that snap fit here momentarily. There we go. This patient has already been anesthetized. What we're doing at this point is a guided soft tissue punch. In this case, this tissue punch comes with the Astra Facilitate Kit. We're using an irrigated handpiece with, uh, with sterile saline solution as irrigation. Once the tissue punch is done, the guide is removed and the soft tissue plug is carefully removed. Salvin Dental has uh, a curette that is uh, sharp that can cut the base of the uh, tissue plug for ease of removal. Rongeurs are used to remove that final tissue tag. The area is cleaned and we can commence with the osteotomies. We're going to start with a 2.0 twist drill with a one millimeter key height. All of these keys are selected using the CCAT and facilitate surgical guide recipe which is provided with each and every case. So our initial osteotomy is, is essentially a 2.0 twist drill. Heavy irrigation. Now this surgery took me uh, a total of 13 minutes. Uh, but what I've done with this video clip is uh, is abbreviate uh, uh, abbreviate this version just for time's sake. So after the 2.0 twist drill, we're going to follow it up with the next surgical key guide. In this case, it's going to be a 3.2 by 1 millimeter key. This allows us to bump up to the next osteotomy, yet still be completely guided. If you observe very carefully, you can see how accurate this drill is actually um, being sequenced. There's no waiver in angulation and uh, the key allows me to go to full depth. So there's a stopper that's built into the osteotomy drill. From the 3-2 we go straight to the 4-5 conical. In a surgery like this, there is very little room for error. In fact, because the ridge width is only 4.5 millimeters, that leaves me half a millimeter on either side of the implant. Freehanding this implant would be virtually impossible. I've shared this case with several surgeons in my hometown, and uh, they each tell me that a surgery like this would be uh, an hour and a half easy. Uh, using conventional methods. Start to finish, we were finished with this patient including attachment of the final prosthesis uh, in, in less than 20 minutes. Heavy irrigation to remove any tissue tags that may be placed or displaced at the base of the osteotomy.